If you spend any sort of time on a racetrack, eventually you're going to run into the point where you need to safety wire your bike. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to save hundreds of dollars by drilling out your own bolts and safety wiring your bike. So what's safety wire for? Safety wire is a secondary retention method to make sure that bolts can't come loose. So if you're racing like we are, safety wire is required on anything that can cause a catastrophic failure like brake calipers, pinch bolts, axles, or anything that can cause a fluid leak on the track. So like an oil drain bolt or coolant drain bolt, and there's various other spots. If you're building it to a rule book, consult the rule book, not some random video on YouTube. Safety wire isn't typically required for track days. However, I have heard instances from some organizations requiring it for advanced group or expert group. So what I like to do is I'll come in here with a paint pen and I'll actually mark this bolt to approximately where I want the wire to go. Now everything on this is already torqued, so I know when I retighten these bolts, it's going to be in approximately the same spot. So I'm gonna want some wire right through about here. And this next one, I'm gonna wrap around and it'll be about right there. If you're concerned about using a paint pen on here, this paint will clean up very quickly with some brake clean. Using a paint pen isn't mandatory. However, I've done this more than once and I've learned that for me, this is the easiest way to do it. So I don't have to guess if I've drilled the hole in the right spot once I have everything installed. If you're wondering, this is just a basic Sharpie paint pen. I'll go ahead and put a link down below, full disclosure. It is an affiliate link, but this is gonna be the exact ones that I use. And now for the hard part, you're gonna need a bunch of drill bits. I'm using the Milwaukee 564 drill bits. You can do it with a drill, or if you have a drill press, just use the drill press. It is way easier and you're gonna snap way less bits. But I've done it by hand, it is possible, it is just not easy. Now on this bike, there are a few bolts that I do have to do by hand because I can't get the drill press in there or I can't get the right angle. So no matter what, you're probably still gonna to have to use a hand drill at some point. For the drill press, I'm just using the Porter Cable drill press from Lowe's. However, any drill press will work. Down below I am just using this vise. This is from Harbor Freight and I've just bolted it onto my drill press. They do make special jigs for drilling bolts. However, I don't own one of those and I own this. So I'm just working with what I have and I've done a few motorcycles with this and it works just fine. Down below I am using just a normal vise from Harbor Freight and it's bolted into my drill press. They do make special jigs for drilling bolts. However, I just haven't bought one. They're like 50 bucks and this thing works just fine for me. It's a little bit clunky but I don't see a point in going out and buying the specialty jig. I'll go ahead and put both of these down below if I can, and that way you can at least choose if you're gonna buy everything. But for me, this was a better use of my money, and I've had this thing for like five or six years now. I've used it a few dozen times, and it works just fine. If you don't have one of these spring-loaded punches, I'd strongly encourage you to get one. They're not necessarily, but they do make your life a lot easier. With this, I'm gonna make a centering punch onto the bolt that I'm drilling. That way, when I start cutting it with my drill press, the bit doesn't walk and I, I can get that hole exactly where I want it. Now here's a really important step. Don't forget to put on your safety squints. No, seriously, where's my protection? You're gonna need some cutting oil and go slow. The oil I'm using for this is just your regular three in one. I'll go ahead and put a link to this down below for you. And just like that, I am done with one more bolt. Now it would be a lot easier if I went out and bought the ProBolt kit from ProBolt. However, I don't wanna spend $70 on just four caliper bolts. To do the entire bike would be several hundred dollars. It's a lot easier and they wire up a lot nicer. However, if you're like me and you're on a budget, this is going to save you a lot more money than just going out and buying some fancy titanium bolts that have the flange on them for safety wire. Now there is a time and a place to buy the ProBolt kit. And I'll usually go ahead and buy the oil drain bolt and maybe the axle bolts. However, on this bike, I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and just drill the axle bolts. If I can't, then we'll go out and buy the Pro Bolt kit, but I'm gonna try it while I have everything set up. And if it doesn't work, we have plenty of time before the next race weekend to go ahead and order the correct hardware. Now, as an added step, I'm gonna take my Dremel and just clean up this bolt and make sure that I don't have any burrs. This isn't necessary. I just like doing it to make sure I don't get like a metal sliver or a cut from it. Now there are some bolts like this one where you can't actually get it into a drill press. So I had to initially start drilling straight onto the bolt just like that, and then turn it to about a 45 degree angle and carefully hand drill this through to get all the way through so I could safety wire this.
If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to be able to answer or maybe make a future video on it. And if you've enjoyed this video, right over here is another video that I think you'll enjoy.